Hello friends, uh, this is R. Rajkumar uh, from CRSK Tech Java Training Institute in Bangalore. Um, today I will teach you how to install MySQL database without any mistake. So MySQL is one of the open source database. You can download it from internet freely. You no need to pay any money. It's a open source software. It's free of cost. So today I will teach you how to install MySQL database without any mistake. So it will help you more. This video will help you more. Uh, how to install MySQL database without any mistakes so you uh, you just listen you watch carefully so you can understand very well so this is MySQL 5.5 I'm going to install I have this software so I download it from internet you can also download it from internet otherwise uh, this software I will update in my blogspot crsktech.blogspot.in in in that blogspot I will update this software so you can download it from my blogspot or you can download it from internet this is a free of cost you can directly download it from internet so today I will do I will show you how to install MySQL database without any mistake so you listen you want to watch carefully okay so I will open this folder so here you can see MySQL 5.5.1 iPhone m2 dot win 32 so this is this is my school database I'm going to install for Windows 7 32 bit OS so just to double click on this my school hyphen 5.5.1 this is a my school database software just uh, I'm going to install this software so just to double click on this uh, just to double click on this my school uh, software okay so it's preparing for installation so it came this window this one you can minimize now see the MySQL server 5.5 setup is added. So now we are going to see how to install MySQL database server in Windows operating system. So just uh, this is a window has opened. Just click on next button. And here there is a th there are three options: typical, complete, custom. So just uh, leave it as it is. So uh, complete or custom. Custom means uh, if you want to install particular uh, feature only, you can uh, customize that complete or you can uh, leave it as it is typical so we are going to install so that's a typical okay so by default it has selected you no need to change so if you so if you want complete you can select complete or if you want custom you can select custom so now i have selected a typical so you select you also select typical only it's a uh, by default typical only so select click on next button then click here click on install so now the mysql database server 5.5 it's going to install in Windows operating system so it will take some time just to, uh, uh, so wait some time okay now so another window came so to click S button click on S button now the MySQL database is going to install in your Windows operating system So again it's asking the next button click on next button MySQL enterprise so another window has opened just to click on next button again next button so it's asking we shot completed configure MySQL server now register MySQL server now so the two option is there use this option to generate optimized MySQL config file set up windows services running and dedicated port under set password for the root account register MySQL server now means Use this option to register this MySQL server with the Sun Connect services to receive the automatic updation. This is so the two options as uh, selected by default. So the first option is must. So okay, we are this is this option we are to we are going to configure MySQL server now. This option if you want to update MySQL database, so this option is required. If you don't want deselect, so I don't want to update MySQL database. Uh, so I want to just uh, configure MySQL uh, database server. That's all that I don't want. To, so don't let me uh, the updation everything don't send the notification for updation don't update automatically so if you want to update mysql database server automatically then select the second option so no need to update if you want to update select otherwise no need so i have selected only first option i want to configure mysql server now that's all right i don't want to update automatically so i deselected de this one so click finish button again it will open another window just click uh, click on s button so now wait sometime another window will open now we are going to so the mysql server instance configuration which are as opened so we have to configure mysql database server here in this window so click on next button so here detailed configuration standard configuration so there are two options is there which one has to which has to which one has to select see the first option detailed configuration choose this configuration type to create optimal server setup for this machine and the second option 
standard configuration use this only on machines that you do not already have mysql server installation this will use general purpose configuration for server that can be tuned manually so only first option as selected by default so don't select second option leave it first of detailed configuration that's all right select detailed configuration then click on next button here there are three option developer machine server machine dedicated mysql server machine so now this is important you okay you listen carefully so the developer machine this is a development machine and many other application will be run on it mysql server should only use minimal amount of memory this server machine means several server application will be running on this machine choose this option for web application server mysql will have mini memory usage dedicated to mysql server machine this machine is dedicated to run mysql database server so no other ser server such as web or mail server like that so the developer machine only so because we are going to we are developers we are going to develop application that application we will connect with the database so you select only developer machine if you want a server machine suppose you want to install this uh, mysql database in server machine then select a server machine so okay so we are because we are only single user so we are developer we are going to install mysql database to connect uh, our application so the developer point of view so we are develop so select only developer mission then click on next button here there are uh, three options is there that's important multifunctional database transactional database only non transactional database only the multifunctional database by default it has selected so what is that general purpose database this will optimize the server for the use of the fast transaction uh, in otp storage engine under the high speed my my sam storage engine transactional database only optimized for application server and transactional web application this will make in main storage engine non transactional database only so multifunctional database because we need multifunctional database so we need to do lot of uh, functionality we need so because of the database we are going to install we need multiple functionality option so by default it has selected multifunctional database you no need to select this this is for transactional database only this is for non transactional database only but so you select only multifunctional database this no need to select okay this they will use for company purpose we are single user so select first only then click on next button then here it showing where we are going to install in c drive okay under uh, c drive we are going to install mysql database server and how much memory space is required they given 20.8 gb uh, disk space is used and uh, the free disk is 30.2 gb free disk in c drive we are going to install uh, mysql database server so it is telling how many space as used how many space as remaining so that uh, because uh, to install mysql database server some memory space is required so it's it's detected automatically how many memory space is empty how many memory space is free so that's no need to click on next button and the decision support uh, so then online transaction processing manual setting so decision support select option for database application that will not require high number of concurrent connection number of 20 connection will be assumed so decision support means suppose you are going to install mysql database server so at a time multiple user they can uh, connect to the database server so maximum what's they given 20 connection will be assumed so that is the second online transaction processing this for online choose this option for highly concurrent application that may have any on uh, any one time up to 500 active connection if suppose you are developing big application there are 500 employee 500 user they are going to connect at a time means select this online transaction processing then manual setting please enter approximate number of connection for manual setting so here uh, okay they given 50 so here we have given decision support because single we are single user so decision support this is a default uh, selection so by default it has selected you no need to change leave it as it is click on next button and enable dcp ip networking this is a port number if you want to change you can change otherwise no need port number port number is nothing but the server unique number server identification number so that you can give any number four digit any number port number but this is a default number leave it no need to change then click on next button then standard character set okay this is a by default it has selected you no need to change anything so okay standard character set is a latin one so you don't select this select only this for uh, best to support for multi langualism so this is a default selection leave it as it is click on next button and install as windows services okay service name mysql then include bin directory on windows path this no name just click on next button then here is asking the root password so the password you can give anything i will give crs kit c r 
SK tech and password CRSK tech. So the password, okay, you can give any any password. The root password is important. Okay, so the uh, you the root new root password I given CRSK tech. The confirm again you have to type the same password. You have to confirm the password. So re, okay again you have to, you need to type uh, that uh, same uh, root password. So CRSK tech CRSK tech. First new root password CRSK tech. Confirm password same CRSK tech. So this password you must remember because when you connect uh, MySQL database server you must it will ask that password so you must remember that password you should enter the password so better you take down this password in your note okay so then click next button then execute that's all right so now the MySQL database server we have configured successfully the username we have given whatever option we have selected successfully or the username also username is a by default root only the password we, i have given crsk tech you queue any password whatever uh, password you want to queue you can queue your own password but remember that password that is important see the mysql database server has installed successfully click on finish button then go on check it. click on start button come to all programs here you can check it see mysql mysql database server has installed successfully just to open see here you can see mysql command line client so i have installed the mysql database server that is uh, command line oriented so there is uh, through command line only you need to create database you need to create table so through command line so other version also is there that graphical user interface version that uh, that also you can install the, that uh, i will uh, i will upload that video later okay so now see mysql under mysql select mysql command line client see the command line this uh, now see it's asking in their password it's asking in their password so whatever password root password you have given you must enter same password i will enter c or sk tech then click enter see it's connected just uh, i want to create database so just to type create data base database name crsk tech tb then semicolon enter see query okay one row affected means database created successfully so once if you create database successfully the database okay under the database i need to create a table so we have to use the database so use what's the database name crsk tech db database changed now we started to use crsk tech db now you create tables so create table table name employee master i will queue mm, so name worker Comma, employee ID integer primary key primary key so auto increment increment or auto increment if you want you can do otherwise you need primary key so close semicolon see table created so I want to see the table just describe what's the table name describe table name employee master only two column name employee id so showing if you want to insert just insert insert into employee master so values name name you have to write within single quotation mark so raj kumar comma string okay uh, string you, you need to represent within single quotation mark in the database Okay, in C, C++, uh, in C++, Java, or uh, C, uh, the string we will represent in double quotation mark. There is a string literal. But in database, when you are going to insert a string, your name where can mean string. When you are going to insert uh, the string in your table, the string you must represent within single quotation mark only. The number, I will give 1001. See, record insert successfully. I want to see that record. Select star from, what's the data? table name, employee. Master, see name Rajkumar employee ID 1001. It has installed successfully. So we have created, we have installed MySQL database server 5.5 successfully. We have configured MySQL database server 5.5 successfully. Then we have created a database. We have created a table under the database. We have inserted our own record in the table. So, so we have selected the record also. So this is how to install MySQL database server without any mistake so just to watch this video carefully so you install mysql database server in your machine 
So then you started to use the MySQL database server. Then you can connect the database server, MySQL database server with the, or any Java application or any other applications. So thank you for watching this video. So I will upload more videos related to the Java, the techno new technology. So you keep on watching and uh, share my videos to your friends and uh, subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching dear friends. So thank you once again.